Hey there, friends. How's it going? My name is Octodad, but you, my friend, can call me Kevin. Be kind of weird if you called me Dad anyway, wouldn't it? Even if there is an Octo before it. Anyway, we're gonna continue with my mission. Silent but deadly, which is feckin' brilliant, by the way. Here we are. You wouldn't be a dad without a pipe, would you? Sit down by the fire with your pipe. <laughs> I right, get to the cafeteria. How do I know where the cafeteria is? Oh, I could rob the place. Okay, it went from a robbery to minor vandalism. You no, know, I could slide through there. Just compress your head. Come on. I could do that in person. This guy's a useless dad. Like, all dads should be able to go through a hole that size. Fuck's sake. What is it with this place? It's fallen apart. It needs some dad DIY, I think. I'm surprised this place isn't flooding. Remember in the last episode when there was a minor crack and the place was flooding beyond belief? Now there's a huge pipe leak and it's fine. Oh, there you are. Why is the key here? How do they even get in? Yep, there you go. Sneak past or find a disguise. What's this disguise? Oh, wow. Now they'll definitely believe I'm one of them. Hello, fellow marine biologists. Sneak into the ladies' room. Oh, I thought it was only my dad that did that. Good to know it's a normal dad thing to do. Oh, can I remove the letters? I could do an epic prank. There we go, I removed the K. So now people will look at it and it's like, that's not how you spell ticket. Hey guys, just doing my traditional marine biologist dance. I'll just be going into the ladies room now. <laughs> While you're in there, do you mind unclogging the toilet? Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'm using the wrong end. <laughs> to be fair, that one doesn't look clogged. Let's move on. I genuinely wanted to help here, but I don't think I can do anything. I did put my hands in the toilet though. I'm gonna go hug my kids. Wait, why take off the disguise? That could have been helpful. Sound an alarm? Oh, I could make fire. What could I cook? Ah, oh, there's a fish there. Let me microwave these glasses. And this grill. Oh god, I think I'm cooking myself. Alright, screw that thing. I'll microwave the glasses. There we go. Let's go in there and make sure he's alright. Wait, what will that accomplish? Quick, get in the tank. Yep. Just a pet octopus. <laughs> Wait, it says leave. Okay, I should leave. They're taking their time, aren't they? Like, Joe would probably be dead by now. I can't get out. I've gone into the wrong stall. And I God, imagine how dirty this floor would be. And I'm just rubbing my body against it. Oh, and now I'm drying myself off. <laughs> Having the time of my life by the looks of it. Give Joe a break. Wait, who is this? Time to head home. Alone. Like always. Oh, I can relate to him anyway. Hello there. God, he's suspecting me really fast. Uh, well, I guess realistically it took him a long time to realize I was an octopus. What's he doing? He's doing a little dance. Probably fish sticks. He talks really sad, but I mean his body language says he's having a great time. You don't have what it takes to fill my shoes. Yeah, we'll see about that, mister. Okay, I've blocked the stairs. Deep sea exhibit gives me the Okay, he did that on purpose. Do I have to come down there and show you how it's done? God, these guys really work overtime and take care of every single job to be done in the museum, don't they? Like the marine biologists and they're here lifting a log for some reason? Make a mess. Can you lift me? <laughs> Yo, are you out of your mind? Keep making a mess. Have I not done enough? I don't even know why I'm doing this. Oh, I guess to make that guy come down. Okay. What a load of cards. Dude, please! Christian channel! Christian channel! If I can just get around this mess I've made now. I'm going into the tray return. I am a tray now. If I can pass for a human, I'm sure I can pass for a tray. He was octopus! Like, they're free. Why is the sun tied up? Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> really? How is this not just clicking for her? It's an octopus! It's dead! Nobody else knew? Yeah, you see, even the kid knew. Oh, she's shaking out of anger. She could have eaten me all this time. But I still caught you down! <laughs> Okay, I'm surely cooked now, right? My wife can eat me now. Oh my god, this is panicky. I don't seem to be dying. I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> Why bananas? Why always bananas? Help, power, take that. Jesus Christ, my son is the strongest man alive all of a sudden. We've got to help the kids. Oh, we're a good team. Oh no, I think I'm just spider squid, actually. I don't think my wife did much in that lift. How am I hanging on here? Jesus Christ, he looks so bored. Eh, just hanging out. <laughs> oh my Jesus Christ. What do I do now? Okay, my son is extremely strong. She's extremely fast. Are we sure we're not like the Incredibles or something? Take care of the chef. Okay, can I get a weapon? Kill him. Oh God, this violence isn't working. I can't even slap him. It's not fair. No! Oh, he's afraid of commitment. Oh. Me too, man. Me too. You really forgive me? Even for the war? Why though? Like, the guy is actually a murderer. I wouldn't forgive him. Okay, I forgive him. He's bouncing home in that thing. I completely forgive him. But I was imagining much worse. What? What were you thinking? And all is resolved, just like that. Then 
Where did me and Stacy come from? <laughs> okay, they just laugh it off. They're not gonna answer that question because it's been kind of on my mind too. Oh, we're all in the movies. The chef is leaving. What? You don't like my movie, man? Come here. Come at me. Come at me. <laughs> Throwing everything at him. The book was better. Get out of here. That saying is overused and it's not always true. I thought this was going to be a shaky camp movie. Nobody cares. I better go up there for my standing ovation. I think this thing is jumping. I will kill you. All right, I'm gonna abandon my family now. I'm gonna walk out on them. Clearly, it's too dangerous to be with them. They don't respect me. They make me go to the aquarium when I don't want to. All right, now that we got that done, we have two shorts to do. Medical mess. I like the sound of that. Anytime I've been involved with a hospital, it's gone amazing. This is a story about dad. And he's in a wrestling ring. Oh, yes. Let's go. Ah. Uh, what are you looking at? Eyes are up here, buddy. Pervert. As I wrap my body around him. I'm looking for the patient records. I'm definitely a nurse. This is not illegal. Okay, I found them. Okay, 201, 203, 205. Easy. Who's this? 201. Yeah, I'm here to help you. Let me turn off that pesky life support. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. This is very inappropriate. Okay, it's off. Fluff the patient's pillow. I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> god knows what I'm doing to it back there. Um... Could you fetch me some donuts from the wheel? Yeah, sure, you're supposed to be fasting, but I don't care. See, if you had anyone that cared about you, they'd be here to do this sort of thing for you. Uh, this one. Oh, God, I hit the wrong one. I just tried to rob stuff out of this machine. He's just watching me. Oh, oh, God. He's really strong, and that was just out of frustration that I can't get the donuts, I guess. Oh, God, they're all dropping. How many donuts are in this bag? It's really good value for vending machine donuts. Here you go. <laughs> I threw them out the feckin' room. All right, no need to kick them. That's just rude. 203, you're my patient. Lucky you. Let me take your pressure. You better check my blood pressure to find out. Oh, I'm supposed to do this anyway. Great. Oh, what about my eyes? Shine lights in my eyes. No, we need more pressure first. I'm gonna keep going until that arm pops off. All right, let's go. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, your eyes look fine. You reacted well. Oh, can you show me on the whiteboard? Yeah, sure. Uh, you have... Uh, Die. Oh, I see. I have unicornitis. No, that says die. I know my handwriting isn't good, but that's just people in the medical profession. They don't have great handwriting. Way. Yeah, she died, all right. She went to heaven. All right, last patient. You're the one I've got to turn the life support off, right? I've done it to so many patients. I'm bound to get it right eventually. With your hands? Are you an animal? Oh, feck's sake. Yes, I am. Give me a book. Oh, Heck's sake, all right, fine. Can I give someone's medical chart to him to read or something? God help whoever has to clean on my shift. I'm making the place a state. Get them a new IV, okay. Uh, you don't need this anymore, okay? Okay, now you're in my way. Please get out the way. Ugh, my arms can only stretch so much. Oh wait, they're in here. I don't have to steal one off another patient and let them die. I can just get a new one. Well, that kind of spoils the fun. I, I got tangled in some chairs. I think I need some medical assistance. Oh no, I'm fine. And on the phone is dad's long lost brother. Wait, I have a brother? Dad, it's your long lost brother. <laughs> I like how he calls me dad. And why is he telling me <laughs> that someone's going into cardiac arrest? Uh, who's going into car- Oh, it's the annoying guy. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> you alive? <laughs> just kind of pushes him over. Come on, buddy. Up you go. <laughs> I'm just going to do this standard fork test. Yeah, he's definitely out. Out of my way. Emergency. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, how'd you get in there? You silly goose. Come on, buddy. We got to go. <laughs> Look at him presenting himself to the hospital. Oh, unconscious people can be so stupid. Oh, Jesus, he's fallen off. Uh, you're going to be fine, sir. All standard procedure. I hope this isn't her husband and she's just watching on as I drag this guy around the room. Come on, to the prep room. Wait, I think we're in the prep room already. Okay, let's get you up here. Oh, maybe I should have gone in this way. Come on, buddy. We should have used the other door. Procedure is procedure. There we go. Gotcha. Wash your hands. Oh, yeah, that's very important. Now my hands are clean. We can get operating on you. Oh, wait, no. We need to knock you out. Oh, you poor thing. You were awake for that whole thing. Get him to the operating table. Oh, there you go. Quite impressive. Do not worry, sir. I know it's your first time, but it's my first time, too. You're in safe hands. Well, you're in hands. Well... 
Let's get this over with. <laughs> oh, I gotta page the doctor. Apparently, he's not even aware. Uh, what would his number be? <laughs> Wait for Dr. Nigel, okay? Jesus Christ, Dr. Nigel! X-ray the patient. All right, I think I have it the wrong way, but that's okay. What did I just X-ray? Okay, I X-rayed something, but... Oh, I think I X-rayed me. Bring Nigel a scalpel. God, Nigel really can't do anything for himself, can he? Just gonna leave that x-ray machine on. Hope it'll give me superpowers. Where does Dad find a bone saw? I don't know. In a box somewhere? Uh, I think the box was knocked over <laughs> in the cutscene before I got to it. I just zapped the fecker. I don't think I was supposed to do that, but it turned him into a robot, so it's not all bad. Oh my god, this looks really inappropriate. What the actual fuck? <laughs> it's just like Surgeon Simulator. Oh, my hand's stuck in him. Okay, it really is like Surgeon Simulator. So broken, it goes crazy flying around the room, and then all his arms and legs. Okay, it told me to catch it, but I caught it before it even got away. <laughs> Jesus, I made the TV nervous when I even touched it. It's seen what I've done to the other electronic machine over there. It knows what I'm capable of. Like, look at him. He's just standing there with his hand out. He's fucking looking for spare change is what he's doing. He's waving. <laughs> I go on. Do what you want. It'll be fine. Okay. Are you saved yet? Shock him again? Come here, you little bastard. I'll shock you with the lack of care I show. All right. If I can't bring it to you, I'll bring you to it. There you go. A little shock. Again? You done? High five, Nigel. High five! <laughs> Just slap him in the face, low five him. Whoa! Put patient in wheelchair. Okay, come on, buddy. You're gonna be fine. Don't you worry. <laughs> I guess you're gonna be pushing me. And Dad brought the not a robot anymore patient back to his room safely. Oh, we'll see about safely, but I will bring him back. All right, let's get going, kid. God, that woman must be in shock. There you go. You don't have any bed anymore, but uh, yeah, have fun in here. Okay, that was a good story. Thank you, kids. <laughs> I had a blast. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it there. I both saved my family and took up a new career in nursing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you as always, folks. If you want to be adopted by me after seeing my dad's skills, feel free to leave a comment. I'll get through the paperwork when I can and send you a letter once it's done. Other than that, I guess I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.